is a, uh, a game I've been meaning to play for a while. It just got a, a discount on it, so it's a pretty short game. From what I understand, this is your old house, and you're coming back to visit it. I, it could be totally wrong. That could be a complete lie, but that's what I have heard through the grapevine. So, let's go. Walk, look around. Yeah, this game's just about walking and looking around, if you couldn't tell. Sweet tape deck. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm playing a daughter, it appears. It's creepy. This is like a murder mystery, but I don't think it is. Here's my stuff. What? Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Christmas grab duck use right mouse to examine that is indeed a duck good old it's called a good old Christmas duck come with me duck stick with what six dollars you bought this for six dollars Feel bad for you. Hey, duck, you're gonna guard the door while I'm inside. You stay there. Okay, what else we got? Is there anything else in here? Oh, this is a key. Yep, gonna need that. Press one or I to check the contents of your backpack. I am so hot. How old am I? It's 1995. December 73. Okay, so... I'm in my 20s. I'm doing alright. Young. 22 year old. Okay. What's this? Whoa! That was loud. Okay, I am... Amsterdam. Why do I live in Amsterdam? Had to go to Cincinnati. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Do I have a journal? No? Okay. Alright, inside we go. Hello? Did I not see this at all? Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you. But it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to... Mom and Dad to know. We will see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Sam is my bro, I'm guessing. What we got here? Moving company boxes of stuff. And Terrence. Alright, god, thunder, you're freaking loud. Alright, Terrence, probably my dad. Dear Katie, what? so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. 
And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, Amsterdam. I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. That's nice. So, yeah, Sam's my little sister. What's up with this? Sparkle! Sparkle! Wow. Stephen King. Wow, it's for t authors, and there's a beautiful typewriter on the front. Because it's 1995, I guess, and no one uses computers. The secret to getting published. The art of feedback. <laughs> Nice, nicely. Wait, what? So yeah, it's from 1995. Okay. Can I take a towel? Peel here. Bandages, nothing out of the ordinary. Make a big old mess. There. That's how you know I've been home. You just find fucking toilet paper all over the bathroom. Yep, Caitlin was here. Ah, uh, the old family. There we are. Wow, I look. Almost identical to my passport. Hair and everything. Ooh, my sister's a little creepier. What's going on with her face? Something's wrong with her face. I do not like that. Everybody looks pretty normal except my sister. She looks like a fucking creep. Little sisters, am I right? Did you just hear footsteps? Are those my own footsteps? I could have sworn I heard like creaking. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Interesting. So somebody called Sam my little sister and something was going on with them. I'm not sure who that was. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him is because he had a Nintendo when we were little. Should be playing N64 in 1995. We should still go over there if he's got one. Grab that pencil and throw it. Wait. I should read everything. June first. Oh, there's a little sticker there. Very nice. Katie's departure, 1210 to Amsterdam, layover in Cincinnati. Uh -huh. 
And I'm here now, I believe. I'm in Portland. Oh, it's raining. Grab that marker and throw it. Anything else? Alright. Oh, I can't look at this. Yeah, what is that? Is that... what? Boone County. Boone County. Area code 503. Just a bunch of... just a good picture of some trees. Alright. God, this could take all day. There's so much shit to look at. Bye. Directions to work from new house. Left on grab grab tree. Right on bullhorn exit forty seven. Right on two oh two east entrance on the right. So is it, are we in the new house? No, this is the old house. They're get, all right. They're moving. Right, right, right. Moving to a new house. One hour, ten minutes to work to the new house. It sounds like a lot of driving, guys. Not if you want to be doing all that. There's nothing in here. Come on. What do you mean? Nothing in there. Fine. You are of no assistance. Bye. Regional track and field, 1990. This must have been in high school. First place. Girls, 100 meter relay. I'm so proud. Another one. 1991, long jump. First place. Thank you. I know. Caitlin Greenbar never finishes in second. Holy Bible. More like, holy cow. That's the only one I can grab is the fucking Bible. This is, what? All these other books are not important. Just the Bible? Why would I, why, why just the Bible, huh? Why? Why? Something secret? Some kind of secret thing? I don't see any secrets. Fine. Don't make that noise, you creepy door. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Let's check your location in the house. Okay, thank you. Caitlin needs a map for her own house. Do I, like... I have to be in the mindset of, of that I'm Caitlyn, but but I also have a map of my own home that I'm holding on to. I understand it's, it's a game, but it's kind of funny that someone who's revisiting their old home has like a detailed map of every room. Did you hear a voice? Could have sworn I just heard a voice. Could have been nothing, I don't know. Welcome, new student. Wait, yeah. Do you hear that? There's like a... There's like a... Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Psycho House? <sighs> Great. 
Did she try and commit suicide here? In the psycho house? Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things. Uh, damn it. Including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Ah, uh, guys. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. I don't think you ha you don't have any other sisters. It's just Mom, Dad, and Sam in Boone County, Oregon. One Arbor Hill. Weird. Why is it weird? What? Why is that weird? What's so weird about it? It's your address. I don't get... Am I missing something? Get out of here, you! Oscar Doc Miss Mason? Masson? Died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, which is, okay, so this is my, uh, my, uh, great uncle, I guess. If Terrence is my dad, and this is his nephew, then this is my great uncle. So my dad's brother, my, my dad's uncle died. Fuck him. Look at that photo. What? You can't have pink hair in the military. You cannot have pink hair in the military. Is this... This must be my sister Sam. No, it's just DeSoto. I don't know. Okay. I should probably put this back where I found it. Pretend like that closed. Anything under here? No. Before I go any further, I just want to make sure this is recording correctly because, you know, sometimes it messes up. So I'm going to pause here. If it's recording correctly. I'll just come right back. Okay? Just stare at this, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, and I'm back. Alright. So everything seems to be recording okay. Where were we? We saw a picture of my this sister. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Boone. Austin County. Boone County. Dawn County. Tecalma County. And Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Look, they even got the cables right. We got some component cables. What does that say? The Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal, 2001. 2001, The Dark Crystal. I don't know. This is a severe weather X-File, Seasons 1. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, I must be 
see the movie out. 2001 and, and the Crystal account. Fairy, both of them. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Wow, this is a detailed game. Where's the sugar? Wait a minute, I take it back. There's no sugar. This is not a detailed game. Any soda would show sugar. This is bullshit. You too. Come here, plate. This is a Fuck severe plate. weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Nothing. Dawn Just County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all My windows and doors. My mom's old work mug. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Forestry service. What a boring mom. X Files, guys, don't forget. I need to record the X Files. It's coming on. Where's the damn remote? What channel? 25? Yeah, guys. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Urge to stay indoors and secure all windows. Can I turn this on? Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Wait, I can't see it. Sam thought this might help. Dad, oh, Terrence, what are you doing? What are you doing? By the old Phil Bakerman. It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. That was a good this entry. Severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service so, reports high no candles. torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. So my sister Austin doesn't County, have any friends. County, and to make it worse, my dad is trying to help County, by giving her lonely person County. books. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. David Warning. I buy aficionado magazine. Terrence Greenbrier. Forest Grove, Oregon. So, wait. Hi, right, Terry. Close, please find a pioneer blah 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 unit with remote and cables. We need half page review from the, for the October issue so that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the blah blah blah. It's a combi player so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as a laser disc and they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toast link stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Thank you. I'm sure my dad reviewed the fuck out of that, because he's a cool guy. He gives cool books to cool little sisters. What? This is a severe weather warning. That guy is definitely looking at a ghost. High winds Find out the truth behind stories that were familiar Washington even to our County, pagan ancestors. County, Discover Don how to County, tell a hoax from a genuine haunting. And a Hold on one second. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and Shut up. All Gotta be scarier. Alright. Learn about the unhappy spirits that share the earth with us and what they can teach us about our connection with the natural world. That is super spooky. Burn it. What else we got? Still no sugar.
Alright, what else? I want to get in the fort! Wait, I'm missing something. Uh, oh, here. Bratmobile, uh-oh. If I put that on the pizza box, can I launch the book? Yeah, I did it! Physics. What do we got here? The Andromeda strain. Airplane and Moonraker. Perfect combo right there. Beetlejuice and Robocop. Blade Runner Director's Cut. JFK. X-Files, 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 X-Files. Clash of the Titans. The Time Machine and Clue. Fantastic Voyage and Top Gun. Ghostbusters and Labyrinth. The Accidental Survivor. Oh, he wrote this book. Oh, he's into JFK. John Russell knows the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would he believe him? Aha! So my father... Shut up! Lightning and thunder. So wait. I thought my dad was like, looked at, uh, uh, equipment, like, hi-fi stuff. Stop creaking. But now he's an author of a, sort of a James Bondy kind of a thing? Let's see, when did he write this, does it say? Uh, it does not say when he wrote this. Hmm. Interesting. Terry, hey man, how you been? This is in 1978. I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature. Okay, so... Alright. So I was wrong. I thought this was like... Never mind. Uh, for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews. Right. Oh, okay. So I was right. It's dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. It I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor. Tell him your old college chum, Mike, sent you. Here's the address. And so this is how it started. So he went from writing these books about historical fiction, James Bondy kind of stuff, to reviewing stereos. Way to go, Dad. Hmm. Put it in there. Push. Oh. This thing is nice. Where's the sound system? That's a, that's my only question. I, don't, I hear, I see the cassette tape. It's plugged into the wall. It just goes right into the wall. Where are the speakers? What am I, am I listening to this tiny thing right here? This speaker? That's really loud. Did I rewind it? No. All right.
The Heaven at the Edge of the World by Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. Story. The Turtle People. Look at all these turtles. And then there's a pirate as well. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Wow, she's a really good speller for a second grader. Jesus. And her handwriting's pretty good, too. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along... Shut your face, weather. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, Yar never gonna find the edge. Yeah, there ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out. We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her. Father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Oh, that's the end. Hmm. I did not I did not see that ending coming so quickly. It's a great story though, nevertheless. And I will make my exit. Where's that cassette? Keep I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm just gonna put it right there for now and listen to the rest of that later. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? Uh-oh. Fucking shit! Shut up! I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. Why did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Tommy, did you really go through all of that just to be a fucking piece of shit to me? Or my sister, rather? Wow. That's fucked up. Tommy. Tommy. That needs to be burned. I'm going to burn that note. So, let's see here, where am I? I went this way already. Kind of went in this room a little bit, but not really. What's that? Grab the bottle, someone's been drinking. Irish whiskey. This needs to be thrown away if it's, if it's empty, okay guys? I said it needs to be thrown away. Good. Whoa! Come on now. Weather warning. What do we got? Oh, another JFK theory. You've seen the movie. Discover the truth. A superb work of speculation. <laughs> Plotted with amazing skill and showing a level of magnetic artistry not usually present in such academic pieces. Thrilling theory, I couldn't put this book down. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. So that's interesting that this is like on his chair, you know? This is obviously my dad's office. Seems like he's not quite over the, uh, the JFK stories that he used to write. And this is his life now. Wow. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular yada yada yada. You need to go back to writing your JFK stories, Dad. What the? That was weird. Yeah. 
That is the scary sounding drawer. Wait, what? What is what? What is that? What's that paper? What's that say? Oh, it's just a uh, legal pad kind of a thing. Nothing in here, nothing in here. There's just nothing. He's got nothing for me. Wait, what? Oh. Yes, please. Right. Oh, I think I understand why it was weird. Yeah. I gotcha, okay. Oh, this is his, his, uh, his uncle. Dear Terrence, I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. What's he talking about? You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will understand of of course, if you feel you cannot accept this invitation, yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. No! Look, 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 look. Oh, we're getting some lag here. Seems like only when it thunders. You can do better. What if... JFK wasn't JFK. Wait a minute, I gotta look at this a little closer. Early spaceflight, utopia, advanced technology, and end World War II early, time stream too different. JFK president, US and USSR coalition, Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. Magic bullet theory? Record JFK off HBO. He did that. Lone gunman? Yeah, I used to be really obsessed with the JFK uh, assassination myself. But I didn't write science fiction about it. I guess it's not... It's not... Yeah, it's just kind of science fiction-y. Grassy Knoll. Steamrolled. Intercept LHO in USSR. State of emergency in Dallas cancels motorcade. Boys kidnapped, injured. Why not disrupt motorcade minutes before LHD can fire? Back to the basics. Sent back to time in Dallas, 1963 again. So yeah, this is definitely some weird ass JFK assassination sci-fi shit. I don't know it. Password is. Electrical inspection form at Arbor Hill. So this is what our last house. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies? No. Well, unclear. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuited wires directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. This was last year. I feel like I need to, like, make a timeline of this family. That van does not...
not spin very fast. Okay. Nope. Never anything in those. I think, uh, unless he's got a safe behind here. No, just here. I've been in like three rooms. Alright, what do we got? That is a magazine that my sister should not be reading. And if she tried to commit suicide, which I don't know, I get a feeling she's kind of lonely. Shouldn't be reading that stuff. Wait a minute. You never know. Okay. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours there'll be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. People seem to like the book. Dad, what do you got under here? I hope it's nothing I shouldn't be looking at. Oh, shit. Hands, what? Bloody war on dolphins. Oh, Dad. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> Gosh, Dad. Really, that's all it says. Gosh, Dad. That's study area, I suppose. A stranger under my roof. Advice book for parents of teens. Man, I can relate to this. My Dagan, you know, teens, look at him. He's got his backwards hat, he's skateboarding. That's basically my brother right there. Just, just not listening to anybody's rules. Such a stranger. That's exactly how I felt about him. That was a joke. I don't actually think of them that way, but okay. The teen years are fraught with change of all types. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, but these changes don't just affect... <coughs> don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behavior from the very beginning as he or she first enters adolescence up through the end of the 10 years as he or she enters young adulthood. The practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric psychology presented by Dr. Alyssa Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers, prepared to gain new tools. Look at her. Look at that lady. Start a loving dialogue with the stranger under your roof. I've never had such a good conversation with my daughter, says Eleanor Shepard. These simple tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child, says Sean Kelleher. And there she is. What a great pick. Looks like she's about to head out to go grocery shopping or something. Bro, can you just tie your shoes? Okay, bro. Wait, 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 wait. 0451. I got it. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. From an editing standpoint, there's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use, but David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on this say-so. On his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. 
look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, big giant asshole. Alright, I guess he's not very good at his job. 0451. See, the problem is he's just got, he's just got too much imagination inside of him. He wants to... He wants to... What, what happened to the lid? The fuck? Lid? What are you doing? That's better. Where's, like, the secret handle? Something behind here. I see something. There's a... There is something back there. There's a fucking plant back there. What the fuck? What? There's nothing back there. But then I look over here and there's... Wallpaper... What? There's a plant! Nothing... I don't know if that's... Is this... What? There's a plant back there. There's also wallpaper. I don't... Oh, it's changing. Oh, now it makes sense. Okay, it's just a normals issue. If you don't know what normals is, don't worry about it. Alright. 0451, was that it? Doctor, dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document. These are from Attorneys at Law. Uh, the notarized copy has been filed at our office. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Oh, it was Will and Testament. I, Oscar, possessing full competence of mind and memory. Blah, blah, blah. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County. I am unmarried. I have no children. I declare I have no outstanding debts. I have bequeathed every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property to my nephew, Terrence Greenbrier. In the event that Terrence should predecease me, I, it's the first time I've ever read that word, predecease me, then, and in such event, the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of 1973. Blah, blah, blah. He wrote it out. Extra cop. They typed it out for him. I see. So, okay, yeah, this is important. So, it looks like my great-uncle gave us our old house over at Arbor Hill, which we no longer live at. We now live in Forest Pine or something. This is the new house, and I guess, yeah, this is where my mom, dad, and younger sister live. Three cheers for piecing it all together. Alright, I'm gonna stop here, and, uh... Stay tuned for part two. Find out what's going on with this house and my sister and why my father is obsessed with JFK science fiction. Alright, see you guys.